So make sure you take advantage of it. But let me play it for you and you can see what that feels like in general. Let's try it. So you come here, log in with your Google account as always. You can always go to the home page, always sign in. Um, Google account is a good way most people typically would log in. So log in with your Google account. And once you are in, bingo, you can do a lot of amazing things. You can, you know, can somebody give us a team, a song that you, just a title of anything you want us to quickly, um, so just tell me any song you like us to, just any team, song about something, anything, just go ahead. Who wants to give it a shot? Anyone, quickly, so that we can use your example. African King, love it. Okay, let's do something about African King. We'll just come here and we'll just say song description. We're not going to make it instrumental. We can just say um, a heartfelt, a heart, heartfelt song about African King. Afro beat style. Okay. Let's give it a shot. And um, we can also make it custom if we choose to. I can put my lyrics, but I'm not going to put lyrics there. I'll just keep it the way it is right now and just go ahead and say create. And once you do create, you will start seeing it gives us two options. Then we can always choose which of those options do we like. Another thing is you can actually come up with your own lyrics and put it there, prompt it the way you want, and voila, you have a song. So we have the first one. Let's try the first one and just have fun with it. Let's listen. Oh. We laugh, we dance under moon so low. Now it's just a memory the time won't let go. All right. Um I'm going to regenerate it. All right, I'm going to regenerate it. I think I I did not change the prompt earlier on to African King. Um so let's see it's generating two now. So now you will hear the one for African King, Afrobeat. But that was still pretty good. But let's listen real quick to the African King real quick. Let's see. So that's the first one. Pretty good. Let's see. All right, that's pretty good. Let's see the other one. It gives you two options. Let's see the second one. All right, so, you know, I, I think that's pretty awesome. For those of us that have used Suno, you will know it's, you know, um, oh, okay, you couldn't hear the song. Oh, what a shame. Okay, let me see what's going on. Oh, wow. And I was just jamming, enjoying myself. Okay, let's see what we got. All right, all right. Um, You can hear it. Okay, let's quickly check what's going on real quick. All right, let's see. I would quickly put it back here. Let's see. But the, the good thing is you can always just go ahead and um, feel free. Jump on those. Um, let's quickly try and share again. All right, we can. OK, let's try it this year. So this is the song. Let me play it here. Hopefully we hear it now.
Kayo yun ito. Kayo yun ito. Right, so we, we get it. So I mean that's that's straightforward. Let's quickly jump on another one. I want to make sure we touch at least three months ago. Um, but there are very good tools out there that I think we can all use on your day-to-day lives also as professionals. Another one we all know, all of us have heard of the controversy of the deep seek AI. All right. <laughs> this is going nowhere, ladies and gentlemen. It's here to stay, it's here to rival open AI. The use case are very similar to open AI. I know most of us have played with it, so I would just for the interest of um, some of us have never seen it. It's very similar to your regular open AI, but I think it's worthwhile try it also because you just never know. I mean, why not? You know, I think everything, just my opinion, everything um, open AI can do, this two can do the same thing. So if you tell me, you know, develop a Business product canvas for e commerce site for wellness business. So, I mean, I think it's doing the same thing that OpenAI will do. It's open for debate, which is better. <laughs> I'm not here to skew anybody's mind around that, but it's, um, you know, let me see. Are you guys seeing it? Oh, what it got going on here. Oh, okay. Here we go. So this is it. So, I mean, this is the, you know, I kind of prompted it to do some business product canvas for a wellness e-commerce site. I think it's equally as good as OpenAI. It becomes an issue of preference from what I've seen. So I will let you be the judge on that one. But I think it's good, you know. I was trying so hard to let the, you know, the bias in me show, but I realized now this thing is just equally good, right? So. I mean, so I think it's good. Somebody said, I'm trying to create a high-level graphical representation phase of a framework. Any recommendation on any free AI tool that can do it? I think um, graphical. So what I would recommend you do is, if you go to open AI, you can check. Let me let me show you so that everybody can take advantage of it. Let's go to, let's see if we can, let's see if we can log in. I'll show you what I think you can do. Because sometimes if you have all these customized solutions that you're looking at what you need to do is go and go to explore gpt here then find graphical you know you will see some tools out there that you might start checking to see which of them aligns with what you're looking for right you know you might say framework then start looking for tools that are already existing now if it does not exist don't sweat it in my opinion. You can create a custom tool. Just go to create here. Everybody, I hope, let me see, I hope you guys are seeing my screen. I think so, okay. Just go to create here. If you want to create a custom tool, you know, let me help this gentleman. Let me see, you know, let me see what he typed real quick. He said, I'm trying to create a high level. Okay, look at the, this is the use case, right? So let's see if I can help my uh, gentleman here. High level graphical representation of framework. Okay, let's see if we can just do it right now. Um, we will just give it a prompt, develop a tool to provide high level representation of any framework. Now, remember again, when you build a tool like this, it becomes custom and you have to save it 
either you make it public or you make it yourself. So it's like we are building AI agents. You can build an agent for yourself. You can build it for as an SOP for your business. You can do a lot of things. You, you know, it's even choosing a name for you. I'll say, um, let me use your actual name. I'll say, let's use Lawal. We'll just call it Lawal. Lawal Framework. Name it Lawal Framework. The whole idea, ladies and gentlemen, is just let's let's make it meaningful, right? Something that people we need. That's why this is a good one for us to just help somebody in real life. You know, so the name is Lawal Frame. Is and don't worry, there's no rocket science. I'm not doing anything outside of the ordinary. I'm just using prompt, but it's a tool. If you use the paid version, the twenty dollars monthly version, you can build your own AI agent army to be doing work for you. So you can see this Laval framework. Then we can test it. You know, it can say explain the React. You know, summarize the key component of Agile framework. You know, I can say summarize key component of solution architecture in AWS, something like that, just to kind of test it. If I feel good about whatever it shows me, maybe I could, you know, make it a tool and I'll just click create. But you play with it a little bit now. It might not give you the functionality to show graphs and all that stuff at the moment. There might be other tools that will be doing that. We can always check that. But this will give you, you can create custom tools and you can come here and say, you know, you can make it, save it as, you know, anyone with the link or only me, it's up to you. I'll just click save for now. And this will be your tool going forward. Let me just copy it and paste it in the group. <laughs> but that's really what we did. We just created a tool for you to use for that your solution. Of course, you modify it as needed. 